What has these three things in common? El Segundo, Cox Plate, Peter Moody, and Black Caviar. I'm talking about Luke Trumby Nolan, one of the superstars of Australian turf, and I'm glad to call him one of my mates. How are you, Cock? Very well, Cock. How are you, mate? Good to see you, brother. Always you look great, you. mate. Good as a trout, mate. Mate, here we are. MV, mate, isn't this? Mate, it's the best bit of real estate in Australia, this, I reckon. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to own it. It'd be nice to sell. <laughs> mate, we've, well, we've both tasted it, haven't we, here? Uh, yeah. Cox yeah. Plate. Yeah, Cox Plate. Segundo. It was um, a big day in, a, in probably the infancy of my career at the time. Whilst I was well on the way of being a jockey, it took me a little while to sort of define the big time. I'd only sort of tasted Group 1 successful once beforehand. That's right, yeah. Um, the spring before on Wonderful World. Wonderful and World for Bart Cummings. For Bart, and then um, this was my second one, so it was pretty um, pretty amazing, actually. He, he did have an unbelievable turn of foot, particularly when you rode in for one. Yep. Uh, he got opportunity. You know, Modestly run race, but to really like bridle up underneath me and then explode. And um, that was a true I Segundo. Whenever you saw him, and he yeah. was very dynamic um, when he when he got those uh, conditions to suit. So, Cox, Labrates Cox Plate this year. You haven't got to ride, neither have I. No. If you were to ride one, I know my obvious pick. What would you pick? I'm Thunderstruck was good through the line. He was, yep. Um, I don't know, would he be suited here? Uh, Adamo was good here. He's already been here and ran very well here last year. Zaki. You give me a bit of a bull answer because yeah. you just, I asked just one horse. Can you just give me one? Put your neck on the line here. I'm going to go Adam to go one better than last year. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. Me too, mate. He's um, he's the number one seed in Australia at the moment, up to a mile and a quarter. Yep. He's definitely the one, number one seed. And he handles wet too, so if it comes That's up wet here, he handles dry. So he, he's, he's very versatile. Talking about Peter Moody, the people who I know him that are in his inner circle, He's just a wonderful backbone, isn't he? He's constant. He's very, yeah, probably that's a great way of describing him, actually. He's very constant, um, he's very even, um, and he's very loyal. Um, oh my God. He found me by mistake uh, a long time ago. I think we're close to 800, yes. uh, 850 winners or something like that. Yeah, I think it's a record. It's a pretty well, it's oh, up it's there. A, it's, it's, a, it's a long time to be in one, with an association like that. So Unbelievable, uh, and it still continues. Yeah, it does, it does. Um, Pete's really happy. He's not afraid to, Speak his mind, um, should I say? And and it's and he's great for racing. He's a great ambassador. Because oh, I've been privileged to be, you know, ridden work there with yeah. Pete and been around you guys and just watched that yin and yang. You know, like you're very calm, very measured. It's it's been a fun ride. It's particularly rewarding when you're sort of part of a team and in a team environment or a stable environment always thrived. Yeah. Um, and through Pete, um, I was able to grow and. and and, and got better opportunities as a rider. And because I was getting the job done, can continue to get me better better opportunities. And then it, and that sort of grew outside of Peter's stable as a result. But um, we have a wonderful friendship um, outside of racing, but yeah. we have a work, very good, very good working relationship also. Away she goes, what a champion, 14 straight, and she's up there with the greatest ever. Black Caviar won it by four and a half. Pop, can you go back and tell me about the first time that you ever laid eyes on Black Caviar and actually rode her? For the, first, for the first, very first time? Uh, the first time I actually rode her was the first time she publicly trialled at Cranbourne. And she won a trial in a pretty slick time, missed a kick like she did for the first part of her career. Yeah. But she was graceful. Did you know though? I felt like she'd give me a nice feel, a really nice feel, and I was really keen to get an old, an old better. Yeah. Because she was a, she was, um, she was big, but she was fragile, and yeah. she had a few issues early. She got a chance to uh, get over all those little niggles. Yeah. And we got to see her um, race through probably two and a half seasons of relatively um, injury free. The pride of Australia is the greatest show on earth. Black Caviar won it by three lengths to Southern Speed. I've been privileged enough at this point. I've ridden two champions under race conditions in my life. And I actually got to ride another one. And I was doing a bit of work at Pete's there in the morning, you know, I'd come in there. Anyway, he pulls Nelly out. And I didn't know who, who the Nelly? I don't know who Nelly is, right? <laughs> I actually went around the corner thinking things were going to fall off because yeah, yeah. she went that fast. It was just power. Anyway, I come back and thought, I found one. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> and I said to Pete, what's this? And he said, to his credit, he said, mate, it'll win a maiden, won't it? I said, I, can I lit up. I said, win a maiden? <laughs> and I'm trying to hide this thing from you because you're the stable rider, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to run, I'm trying, I've got one. I've got to hide this from Luke, <laughs> right? So the whole hut is buzzing all morning because they were in on the joke. Yeah. And I'm driving, <laughs> so I'm driving Pete, mate, when's this horse running? He said, mate, 
it's black caviar and yeah. i was just <laughs> but to feel the power of that horse that day it oh, that's something i'll take to my grave it was unbelievable joseph o'brien um we were talking in a room at ascot there one day and he he, he, he probably told me the Probably the nicest way to describe her is she's just uncomplicated. She was one to a million, you know? Wow, well, I got to sit on her one day, you know, and you got to ride her throughout a whole, virtually a whole career. And, but can we just talk about the one moment, the one day? The one day. And yeah, we can, can I'm gonna, we can joke about this now, but you nearly killed Bambi that day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, I know. Look, at, can we have a look at it? It was a long way to ride her home, too, from that day, too. So. But there was a lot going on, right? But it's Black Caviar in front with 100 yards left to go. I, we, we, the, the thing about it was, um, she, she, she did, she did, she, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. just let her alone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, but she got her head down, that was all that mattered. That's uh, all that mattered. It's quite unfortunate because it's going to overshadow what was a very good win. They're going to talk about more about my brain fade than uh, the horse's fantastic effort. We'll put that away, we don't need to put that anymore. That's all right. <laughs> it was just disappointing on a, probably a personal note that she didn't get to show true wares over there. People don't understand, if you haven't been to Royal Ascot, yeah, that, like last, that last furlong is a big, steep rise, it right? Is, so it is. you used to just coast across the line, easing her up 100 metres from home, five, six in front. Like, she was looking for somewhere, she was looking for somewhere to hide, wasn't she? You know, so when yeah. you dropped. She dropped. But, she just dropped. But every other, actually, I didn't ride her any, other di any different any other time. No, no, um, exactly right. Combination of the uphill rise and the herding, she just, she said, oh, job's done. Job's done. And she just, and then she, and she, but she did hold her right off. <laughs> she, poor, the poor, the poor girl. And I, I and I, I didn't know she was hurting that bad. And it, she surprised me how quickly she did stop. Get to meet the queen. I met the queen, I you met know, Lizzie. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Unbelievable moment, mate. Like, it was pretty, pretty, right? pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm old enough to remember that Paul Keating got in trouble for touching her, but yeah. I couldn't, but I was, I'm that, I was young, I'm, I'm, I was a bit young to remember what he actually did wrong. And no. he, apparently he touched her on the back and yes. he, he's not allowed to do that. And, and, and then she put a hand out and I wasn't sure the etiquette where I was supposed <laughs> to shake a hand or not. And oh, sh I better shake a hand, I better yeah. not drop my hand twice today. So I yeah. shook her hand and she, <laughs> um, but she, she had a real, she had a real, um, a real uh, intrigue. Cause it was one of the rare times she actually came down to the paddock to see Black Caviar. Yeah, she painted yeah, her and everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's a great moment. For her to want to meet Black yeah. Caviar and get and be, do that. Thinking back now, it's just it's bloody, pretty bloody amazing, actually. Pretty special, yeah. Mate. yeah, it was. So, Lukey, I've been watching, been around you a lot, and I admire the way you handle yourself because, you know, when you, you're a lot bigger than me, um, you're heavier. So, how have you managed to manage your weight all this time? Just a lot of routine. Um, and diet and exercise and, and sweating. I'll sweat nearly every day. I love the animal. I love competing. I love riding. Yeah. Um, my family, they help me through the hard yards, yeah. right, racing. They, it, they're very stoic and very, uh, very positive for us. My, my you, you don't bitch. You don't whinge. You just seem to get on with it. You I just did, accept I, it, I suppose. That's it. It's it become a, it's, it's part of your life. Part you of your know? life. Yeah. yeah. It's but, been it's been part of my life for a long time now. Um, watch any weight. I, I'm gonna. I've, had, I've been unfortunate enough to have enough injuries to get um, to, to let my weight go a couple of times, yeah, yeah. and it's, <laughs> it's I can't I can't let it go like I, I like I used to because I just can't get it back off and, because I, I do get very heavy, but I do like beer and I do like food. So there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with it. You're riding as good as ever. There's no doubt you're riding. Well, I, yeah, Pete made that comment to me actually. Um, he said I, I don't think I don't think I've seen you ride as is good yeah. for a long while. Yeah. I've had a start to a season this year, uh, better than I've had for probably 10 years. So yeah. um, I'm going to try and uh, take full advantage of that and um, see if we can't drag a few more out the wreck before this spring's over and um, have a nice consistent season off the back of it. Well, it's uh, a bit early for a couple of jars, but next time we'll do this, we probably will, Luke. But um, thanks for joining me, mate. It's been an absolute, absolute pleasure to have a chat with you. Ah, uh, cock, I've really enjoyed it. It's actually been a bit of fun, actually. These are pretty um, painful for me usually, so it's, it's been a bloody good time. I've really enjoyed it. No, thanks, mate. So easy, cock. Love thanks, you. man.